Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Literally yesterday, I posted a video about how Netflix is being a baby about their new password sharing services and how they're a stupid, stinky company and should be ashamed of themselves. And I said in that video that I couldn't actually find the article on their website and it seemed like it was taken down. And I was right, it was taken down. And they've told some news sources that they posted it in error. So I feel like a complete fucking idiot for not putting two and two together, but hey, that's just me being stupid. So I think this is a prime example that bullying companies works sometimes now last year netflix made a very strong statement about this like the whole password sharing thing so they probably are still going to go through with it instead of a giant ass fucking that they were going to give to the site with those rules maybe they're gonna give a slight little pat on the bottom instead of the biggest spank of your life now, like I said, they pulled it down due to error, as they say, and they told a few news articles this. So they pretty much just kind of pulled one of those. You know how someone will ask out their crush, and then their crush, it kind of just starts laughing in their face, and the person will be like, oh yeah, no, I did, no, I did, yeah, wouldn't it be so funny? I was just joking, right? You know, ha ha ha, yeah, sorry, uh, my, my cat was on my keyboard, or some fucking bullshit like that. Just the biggest backpedal you've ever seen. Netflix pulled a bigger backpedal than the perpetrator of a hit and run and i think i can speak for everyone here when i say nobody believes it and now that the statement is down looking back on it what shocks me the most is that there is this air about it this stinky whiff of shit that they seem to think people needed netflix when they really don't i mean when was the last netflix original that you were like oh yeah that was that was really good it was probably Dahmer, if you're a bipolar crazy white girl now, Netflix estimated there was about 100 million people that were password sharing, and they seem to think in their little reptilian-sized brain that removing password sharing would solve that problem and make 100 million people sign up for Netflix accounts who were password sharing beforehand. Like, yeah, getting kicked off of the service is really going to make me want to buy an account. The CEOs of Netflix would have better luck finding the lost city of Atlantis than getting more customers with those cutthroat rules. Anyways, that's all I really got for you. I appreciate you watching and checking out my small channel. Like and subscribe and take care.